Okay, we are learning about the environmental effects of acid rain. Acid rain is basically the compounds that form acid or mixing with the water in the clouds and coming down as acidic rain. Acid can be created uh, at home using various day-to-day um, -day ingredients. One of them is vinegar or you could use also lemon juice that has a lot of acid. So what we are going to do in this demonstration today is to see the effect of acid rain on sprouting of mung beans. These are a special kind of beans and you could use actually most of the types of beans which have hard shell on, on, the, uh, on the outer side. So we are using here three different bowls here. Each of these bowls uh, is filled with 20 beans, 20 seeds of these uh, mung beans. And uh, we are going to pour plain water in this one and slightly acidic water in this bowl and highly acidic water in this bowl and see every day, tomorrow, day after, and a day after that, how this acid changes the sprouting of these uh, beans. So let's actually prepare this and add plain water to the first one. This is plain water, just the water from the faucet. I'm going to add enough water so that these beans are all immersed in the water. Okay? Now, the slightly acidic water I am preparing by adding vinegar that I have here. You know, this is a bottle of vinegar. And I'm going to add two spoons of vinegar to this. So this, is, this water in this cup is slightly acidic. I'm going to mix this and use this water. This is slightly acidic water. And I'm going to pour slightly acidic water in here. There are 20 beans in this cup, in this uh, bowl also. And I'm going to prepare highly acidic water here with the same vinegar. I'm going to add five spoons. One, two, three, four, five. This is a little bit stronger than the other acid that we prepared. Now I'm going to add this highly acidic water to this bowl to the same level. And as the water evaporates, whatever type of water, as the water evaporates, we need to refill with the same kind of water. Plain water in this bowl, slightly acidic water in this bowl, and highly acidic water in this bowl. And observe the results. And what I want you to now hypothesize is which one would have um, the significant effects oh, which one would have the significant effect uh, or which one of these bowls will have more sprouting than the other and when you look at day one day two day three uh, I need you to count the number of um, the number of seeds that are sprouting and you can prepare a plot. Let's say on, it, on day one um, the plain water once sprouted you know, 6 out of 20 which means 30 percent have sprouted. Slightly acidic ones 4 out of, uh, out of 20 so that's 25 percent. Highly acidic one 6 out of 20 that's again 30 percent. So you can plot that uh, as a function of time and see at the end of four or five days, how many of these seeds sprout? Let's watch for three days. Okay, we are on day three today, and uh, you can see on day one itself we had uh, about you know, all 20 out of 20 sprouted on the, in this plain water and slightly acidic water 
We didn't have any sprouts. Even today, we don't have anything, any sign of sprouting in highly acidic water. That is the impact that you can see of the acidity on sprouting of seeds. Now you can imagine what it would be like uh, for the entire planet if it is covered with acidic rain and uh, what would be the impact on agriculture, what would be the impact on uh, food supply chain to the uh, humanity. So that is what we learned from this exercise.